When you look at the overall Veeam backup and replication solution, one of the primary benefits of remaining software only is scalability. We have a dedicated modular component within our solution known as the proxy. And the proxy's sole responsibility is to move and process data. So it reads from the source, dedupes and compresses in flight, and then finally writes to the destination. Now that destination target could be a Veeam repository if we're talking backups, or it may be another site if we're looking at replication jobs. In either case, because a proxy can be both a physical and or a virtual machine, it enables you to scale quite quickly, especially in the virtual machine scenario, and throw a lot of additional horsepower, increasing the number of concurrent parallel tasks that Veeam can perform at the same time. This sounds fantastic until you think about what potential impact this could have on the source storage array. Luckily, Veeam has a safety net built in called storage latency control. You may also hear it referred to as storage IO control. And what this does is it monitors the latency at the data store level. So if it goes above a threshold that you get to specify, Veeam can actually throttle and slow down what we're doing to maintain a level that you deem fit for your production storage. So let's take a look inside the software at exactly where you configure this and what options are available and why this is so beneficial and you should really consider enabling this in every Veeam deployment. Okay, now that we're in the lab, let's take a look at exactly where and how you configure storage latency control. It's real easy. You simply go under the general options menu, which is the very top left hand corner ribbon style button. And when you click this, navigate under general options, and it's the very first setting you're going to run into. Now, if we take a closer look, you'll notice the tab name is called IO control and the feature name itself is called enable storage latency control. Now, when you turn this on, you get two threshold boxes to specify. Now, keep in mind, if we look at this, this is communicating with the source storage array. This doesn't have anything to do with the repository, the ingest rates on the target repos. This is all looking at the source production storage array and looking at latency in a millisecond variable. So the first threshold box that you're going to have the option to modify is when Veeam will stop assigning new tasks for that specific data store. So in other words, if you've got several jobs running and parallel processing with quite a few proxies and your latency climbs above 40 milliseconds in this example, Veeam will no longer assign new tasks to our proxies that pull from that same data store until latency has dropped back below that threshold. Okay, so that's the first line of defense. But let's say for an example, even after we do that, you've got such a load currently running that the source storage simply can't keep up. So latency continues to climb. The second threshold is when Veeam will actively throttle the current tasks that are processing data at the present time. So this is your second line of defense. And we're gonna throttle those tasks in an effort to keep that latency below the second threshold box, which in this case is 80 milliseconds. Now keep in mind, if you're on the enterprise edition of our product, this is going to be your option. It's a global setting with the two threshold parameters for any data store within your environment, regardless of the underlying arrays capability. So in other words, you pretty much need to set this to accommodate for your slowest storage array. However, if you go up to Enterprise Plus, you can leverage the configure button where you can actually drill into the environment and do this per data store. So in other words, if you've got a few different storage arrays, which each can handle different acceptable amounts of latency before the impact is detected, just let's say for an example, you can come in and modify those two thresholds per data store. And this allows you a much more granular and fine-tuned control over how the storage latency control mechanism operates, especially in large enterprise environments with several different source storage arrays that Veeam is going to be pulling data from. This is a very important feature to enable and to make sure you finely tune so that Veeam doesn't add and introduce any unexpected performance hits while you're doing processing using the software. And keep in mind, this isn't just for backups. 
This is any time Veeam hits that production storage array, which could be backups, could also be replication jobs. So keep that in mind. Anytime we're leveraging snapshots and we're reaching out to the production source storage to process data from the original location, this I.O. control will apply. So it's a very important capability to understand and also enable to make sure that your environment stays performing at your acceptable level, even when Veeam activities are going on. For more great tutorials and how-to videos, make sure to check out veeam.com and locate the Learn section. Thank you very much for your time and watching this video and enjoy the rest of your day.